My name is Ryan Phelps and I'm going to be going over an introduction into using pivot tables to generate contingency tables. Specifically, we're going to be covering uh, two-way or two variable contingency tables uh, and we'll be look at reporting the results as a count, a percent, a percent of the row and a percent of the column. We will also look at a three-way or three variable contingency table. We will look at how to move the categories around. We will also look at manual update and how to set the pivot table up so that it updates upon opening the file. The database that we're going to be using uh, was provided kindly from a colleague named Mikhail Kuliatsev. He was kind enough to put together this database of movies that opened in the year 2011 along with a host of variables describing the movie. To begin, we're going to insert a pivot table into a new worksheet. To begin, we will look at the rating of the movie. We'll use Rotten Tomato ratings. And we will look at those against the uh, actual rating of the movie. In other words, um, R, PG-13 etc. Now uh, and right away you see the, an issue here we have far too many Rotten Tomato ratings so we're going to group those right clicking clicking on group we will start at 1 and go to 100 and we will group these by 20 and that will give us a handful of categories um, it's also user friendly to set up the pivot table as a outline form now we need to count something, in other words, you know, or, or find the percentage of something. And in order to do that, we will throw in here how much the movie made. But we'll throw it in as a count. So we're really just counting movies. As you can see, of the G movies, or of all the movies, only one movie was both a G-rated movie and had a Rotten Tomato rating between 21 and 40. There were two movies that had a G rating and had a tomato, Rotten Tomato quality rating between 61 and 80. Now, we can look at this also as a percent by showing the count as a percent of grand total. And when you look at this, this is again a percent of grand total, so 72% of all of the movies in the database were both G-rated and received a Rotten Tomato score of 21 through 40. If you're curious, you can always double click here to drill down. And in this case, we can see that that is Cars 2. Going back to the sheet with our pivot table in it, we get this nice table. This may not be the most in formative way to present this data. Let's look instead at expressing the count as a percent of the column total. So now of G-rated movies, 100% uh, of G-rated movies were G-rated. Of the G-rated movies, 16% received a Rotten Tomatoes score between 21 and 40. 33% received a Rotten Tomato score between 60 one and 80 and uh, the only NC-17 movie uh, received a score between 61 and 80. The most common score for our movies was uh, between 61 and 80 at 32.65 percent. It may be that the percentage that you're really interested in is what percentage of movies rated between 61 and 80 fell into the G, PG, etc. categories. In order to do that, we will express the count as a percent of the row. And now we can see that of the top rated movies, 5%, uh, roughly 6% were G, 23% were PG, 29% were PG-13, and the most common rating for the top scored movies was R. When looking at this table, it's clear that the category NC-17 doesn't belong here. And we can fix that by simply clicking on it and dragging it over to the end. 
Also, it may be that you want something else from the table and there are a lot of options to choose from. Uh, by clicking on the calculation field and clicking on the field settings, we can go in and not only change what we do with the count, but we can change what we're looking at. So if we go from count to average, for example, we can get the average gross revenue for these films. It's important that you recall what you're showing the value as. In, in this case, we'll need to go in and change to no calculation. And once we've done that, now we can see that the average gross domestic revenue for all of these different contingency fields. So the average revenue for a G-rated movie rated between 21 and 40 is 191 million. By double clicking again, we can drill down. Once again, we see that's cars too. And just by quickly going through these categories, we can see that as far as averages are concerned, the highest average is the G rating followed by PG-13 and then PG. Now perhaps you'd like to see more detail. We can add more detail, for example, whether or not the movie was a sequel, just by clicking and dragging that down. And here we can see that average scores for both non-sequels and sequels broken all down also by Rotten Tomatoes score. And if we look across some of these categories, give us a comparison. Um, in this case, PG movies that were highly rated grossed better as sequels than they did as, uh, than the, than the non-sequel or the first uh, movie of the installment did. Uh, we can also see that that's true in at least one case in the PG-13 category. So this particular contingency field represents PG-13 movies that were sequels and were rated between 21 to 40. Right clicking, clicking on show field list, we can then um, finish up by going over the process for updating your pivot table. I'm going to take sequel out just to make the uh, table a little simpler. So to update the pivot table, what you will do manually is to click on data and click here refresh all. Um, and you would do this after you would made some change to the data. Um, the other way that you would do this is by right clicking on the table and clicking pivot table options. Under data there is an option here to refresh data when opening a file and if you've done that then after you've made changes to the data and save and close whenever you reopen the file the pivot table will automatically update. I hope that you found this useful. Thanks for watching.